hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you all doing thank you all for your love and your support to my channel i really appreciate it so in today's video i'll be making turkey and vegetable rice so to see how i make this recipe please watch the video to the end and if you are new to my channel if you like what you see do not forget to subscribe to see more recipes and those of you that you keep coming back Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This recipe is very, very simple and very, very delicious. As I'm talking, my mouth is watering. I need to eat it, guys. Mm. Mm, it's so yummy. Okay, let's get started. So, guys, I've washed my turkeys on the cooker, as you guys can see. So, what I'm going to add now, I'm going to add my ginger garlic and onions i have my chicken on there just to show you guys the chicken i'm using you can use any seasoning cube of your choice but this is the one i normally use for my cooking well for now i use a lot but for now this is the one i'm using okay so i'm going to add that I'm also going to add aromats. If you don't have aromats, you can use salt to taste. I'm also going to be adding ground black pepper. Not a lot, about that much. I'm going to mix everything together. It smells so good. Mm, delicious. So I'm going to close that to cook. I'm going to close that. So guys, I have fresh tomatoes can you guys see this is fresh tomatoes i have one small uh ginger i have scotch bonnet but i've taken out the seed because i don't want this recipe to be too spicy you know this recipe it cannot be too spicy we just want to taste the spice so what i'm going to do i'm going to cut it So guys, after finished cutting, I'm going to pour it in my food processor. And I'm going to go and blend it. If you don't have food processor, feel free to use your blender. I'm going to pour my tomato in the pot. So I'm going to allow it to boil till the water is dry. So these are the vegetables I'm going to use. So I'm going to go and cut my vegetables first thing i'm going to scrape the carrot So I'll be using half of the cabbage. I'll be using this one. 
this one is much a bit bigger so i'm going to take out the first the first uh this thing is this cost skin or the i'm gonna take that one out this one and i'm gonna cut it like this you guys see so now i'm gonna cut it So guys, this turkey I've been boiling for the past 25 minutes and to tell you guys, I did not add any water, any water. This is the juice that came from the turkey and I can see it's soft to my taste. So I'm going to take it out from the cooker. So now guys, I'm going to put my turkey in the oven tray. Okay guys, so I'm going to put this in the oven till it's golden brown. So this is the stock, we'll be using the stock later. And this is the tomatoes, can you guys see? It's dry, so I'm going to take it out from the cooker. So now what I did, I took out the stock from the pot and I clean it up. And I'm going to add my vegetable oil. You can use any oil of your choice. About that much. I hope it's not too much. So 
So I'm going to allow the oil to get heat up. So now I'm going to pour my onions. The onions I showed earlier. I'm going to fry it for about one minute. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add my tomato. I'm going to add aromas. If you don't add aromas, Sorry, if you don't have aromas, you can add any seasoning cube or any seasoning that you use just to give it, you know, a bit of taste. I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, a bit more, not that much. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the turkey stock. Not that much. Mm. Delicious. So now I'm going to add my vegetables. I'm going to continue missing this for about two to three minutes so this I've been frying for one and a half minutes now and I just taste um, the vegetables and it needed more salt so and you guys know instead of salt I use aromat so I'm going to add a bit more just to make sure that the vegetable is well tasty you know so this is about two and a half minutes and it's ready i'm going to empty it from the pot i'll be pouring it in this bowl okay let's go and continue the rest of the cooking so i have my pot back on the cooker and i have my rice can you guys see I've washed my rice behind the camera. I'm going to stir fry this rice for about three minutes. I'll be adding butter instead of oil not a lot about this much
So I'll be mixing it for about three minutes. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to pour the turkey stock. Just add water. I see that. This is the reason why I normally sift it. So I'm going to pour more water, boil water from the kettle. Okay. So now I'm going to taste the stock. I'll just add aromat. I won't add any seasoning cube. Let me taste. Mmm, very nice. Perfect. So I'm going to cook it till the rice is done. I don't think I'll be adding any more water, but if happened, I'll be adding water. I'll let you guys know. Okay, guys. Let's see. Oh, the water is dry. Can you guys see? But is the rice ready? Is it ready? Let's see. Mm, yeah. Rice is soft. I like the salt. Mm. So now I'm going to add my vegetables. Okay guys, so now I'll use foil to cover it for about 5 minutes. And I'll be back after 5 minutes. Okay guys, this is 5 minutes later. Alright, so my rice is ready. The rice is ready. It smells so good. Mmm, delicious. Smell good, 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 good. Okay. The rice is ready. Let's go and check on the turkey. Whoa. What do you guys think about that? It's beautiful. Beautiful. So, guys, that is it in this video. Thank you for watching.